Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Thursday, March 18th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All righty, guys. Happy Thursday. There are no birthdays again today. This is crazy. This is like a week, week for the birthdays. But we do have some open-minded leopard leaders to share about. From Miss Harwell's class, Phoenix Isabel is a shining example of an open-minded learning leopard. She is so excited about our transition to in-person learning. Phoenix is being super flexible and open-minded with our new learning space and classroom procedures. We're so proud of you, Phoenix. For Ms. Kamidi's class, Alana Farmer has been so open-minded about coming back to school in person. She has an incredibly positive attitude about all of our activities. She participates in everything we do with enthusiasm. I'm so proud of you, Alana. For Ms. Shapiro's class, Isla Zorn has been so open-minded jumping into school in person at Johnson for the first time. She is connected with all of her classmates and always sees opportunities to train her brain as a good thing. We love having you in person with us, Isla. And finally, fra oh, not finally, uh, almost finally, from Miss Case's class, Suleiman Kawaji has been incredibly open-minded about all of the ways school looks a little different now that we're back in person. He meets new experiences with eagerness and curiosity and always makes the best of them. Suleiman makes our class a better place to be. Now, finally, from Miss Rigobal's class, Atlei Aviles Herrera has been super open-minded about changing teachers, changing to in-person teaching, and working with a new schedule. He comes to class with a smile on his face and helps to make our class fun. Way to go, Atlei, and great job to all of those open-minded leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Our Women's History Month Hero of the Day is Simone Biles. She is an American gymnast. When Simone Biles was a little girl, she could not sit still. And her favorite place to be was on her grandparents' trampoline, flipping and twisting around in the air. Any move her siblings did, she tried it too. Simone started taking gymnastics lessons when she was only six. Several times a year, the gym held exhibitions to demonstrate the gymnast skills. So at one of these, Simone, uh, the, all the gymnasts had to climb about 10 feet up the rope using just their arms and holding their legs out straight in front of them. 10 feet. That's pretty tall. Simone was so strong that she climbed 20 feet into the air and had to be coaxed back to come back down to the ground. The coaches could hardly keep up with Simone. When one girl performed a standing back tuck, Simone was sure she could do one too. Her coach didn't believe her, so Simone tried it and nailed it on the spot. Now, things were not always easy for Simone. When she was nine, she learned why she couldn't sit still. She had ADHD, which stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Her brain moved super fast and her body moved super fast too, which is what made it hard for her to concentrate in school, but it also made her an amazing gymnast. Here's what she said about that. The challenges we face help define who we are. My challenge is also my superpower, ADHD. And Simone's superpower would help make her one of the most dynamic gymnasts the world had ever seen. When she was 16, she won gold medals at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships. Um, and now she's at this point, she has won 25 world medals, 19 of them gold. That's the most in world gymnastics history. Simone competed in her first Olympics in 2016, and she was the first female U.S. gymnast to win four gold medals in an Olympic game. She is a rock star. Go check her out, Simone Biles. All right, today's joke of the day comes from Zephyr Chatowski in Miss Crawley's class. What did one wall say to the other wall? What did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. Get it? The wall, the other wall, they met at the corner. Love it, Zephyr. That was clever. All right, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you guys have a thrilling Thursday and think about how you can roar today at your house or wherever you are, including at school, of course. We love you so much and we hope you have a wonderful day.